Stop it. She's so cute. She is the daughter of our fitness guru, Amelia Burton Chardin. Oh. And Amelia, I only gave birth to her basically this morning. I mean, <laughs> she, I mean, times are so tough in the Burton household. She's back here with us now. Um, she's very cute. Congratulations. Thank you so much. She's Thank a knockout. You. Oh, she's gorgeous. Well yeah, I'm done. smitten. I'm smitten and sleep deprived. All right. Well <laughs> as well as introducing the world to Charlotte, we're here to talk about a new food plan. It's claiming yes. to be the latest, greatest thing. Yes. What, just explain it. The Nordic diet, mm, it's yeah. called. Think of it as a bit of a spin-off of the Mediterranean diet. So almost like a cold climate version of the Mediterranean diet. So researchers in Denmark discovered that by following a Scandinavian diet, so think Finland, Norway, Sweden. I'm thinking fish. I'm thinking yes. frozen. Yes, you're thinking cold <laughs> climate stuff, exactly. So um, some of the principles of the diet are eating more fish, eating less red meat, eating organic produce, Yep. Things like that could be costly, though. yeah, it can be um, berries, oats, um, and following an environmentally friendly and and a sustainable approach to eating, cooking more at home as well. Doesn't yeah. it also suggest more bread and fats? How does oh, that yes. work? Can I put fat on my bread now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about monosaturated fats, so we're talking about oils. Yeah. And oh. in that, in the colder climates, they tend to use things like rapeseed or canola oil. But in Australia, extra virgin olive oil is fine. So it's the monounsaturated. Rice bran. Use rice bran oil. Can rice, use bran. rice bran. Yes, oil? you can use rice bran oil mm -hmm. if you'd like. Test there. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Very good. I like it. And what avocado and those yeah. sort of fats as well? Yes, absolutely. So yeah. they're all your Nuts. healthy fats, as as opposed to you know your saturated fats like your animal fats or your processed foods and things like that. For everyone that. at home, what do you think about this? Take your mummy brain aside, what yep. do you think? Give me a <laughs> do you know, you know I'm not a huge fan of diets, not the word diet in general, but I have to say this is a good one. And the reason being is it's a healthy balanced approach. It doesn't cut out any whole food groups. If you have a diet where they're saying no dairy, no carbohydrates, that's what you've got to watch. It's in line with our Australian healthy eating guidelines. It's sustainable. It's environmentally conscious. So I have to say it is a, it is a good one. There are a few cons to it as well in that you know it, it may require more cooking at home which a lot of pelts I, you have to wear a lot of pelts <laughs> <laughs> i'd like to see that i know i'd like to see that too so it encourages home cooking and it tastes great can you tell my yes. kids for me yes <laughs> Just pass that little message on. i know i will i will i will <laughs> thanks Amy. congratulations thank Welcome you so back. much thanks no.